I think it, it hit him. I think he was trying to figure things out, but all of a sudden he came over to uh, to where we were and he had his phone playing Juicy. And he was smiling and he's like, I'm like, you get it, man. But that's like, in real time to see that was like, that's why I make art. That's why. Remember rapping Duke, the hard, the hard. You never thought that hip hop would take it this far. You never thought that hip hop would take it this far. You never thought that hip hop would take it this far. You never thought that hip hop would take it this far. You never thought that hip hop would take it this far. So my name is Neon Dion, and uh, I um, am a, a creative, a creator, an artist, and um, I like making things cool. Yeah. I was just excited about the opportunity because it was attached to uh, an event, first of all, right? Not just an opportunity to make a mural, but it was attached to something, something that uh, I had never been a part of, right? There was a, a whole uh, concert um, that the Northwest Sinfonietta um, was doing called Cityscapes, right? Which was supposed to be uh, a, a more urban kind of take on classical music and urban in the sense of city, right? Not culture, I guess. But I mean, I guess culture plays into that as well, you know what I mean? And there was a brother by the name of Carlos Simon, uh, a brother from ATL, um, and he is a, just a rock star of, of a composer, man. He is, uh, he's just phenomenal. I had no idea about him until this project was presented to me, but, um, you know, I like to do research. I like to learn things. So once I dove in and, and saw just some of the magnificent things he was doing, I mean, from even just like a social justice standpoint, you know, he did um, a piece that was based on uh, the lives of some of the uh, black people that were, you know, killed by police, George Floyd and Sandra Bland. And, 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 it, and I was like, wow, right? He was going on tour around the, around the world, playing this music, you know, from a, a social justice standpoint to create these conversations. So automatically I'm like, I love this guy. You know what I mean? Because he he's he is in a whole different genre of of the world of music. You know what I mean? Of art, but he's making sure that um, our voice is heard. You know, and that is so important to me. So um, when presented with the idea, once I dove in, I was just excited about being a part of it. I also um, am a fan of classical music, so I would ride my bike at the waterfront. I would go to the waterfront. Um, in the summer and I'll ride my bike every day, uh, listen to the music, you know, continuously, continuously. And um, eventually I, I just started having these ideas and, I, and, I, and the sheet music was the first thing that came to mind. So I decided to, uh, to blow up the sheet music. So the base of the, that was the first idea I had. The base of the piece is the actual sheet music that um, the symphony uh, was playing. But because it is, you know, it's this piece called graffiti and, and hip hop, I, I was just like, one night I was just having a, like a, one of my little creative sessions, I was watching a Virgil interview and I was listening to music and I had my projector on and watching all these old videos, music videos. And Juicy by, by Biggie came on and it hit me right there on the spot, right? That line popped up on, in the first verse. You never thought that hip hop would take it this far. And it stuck with me, you know, because, you know, hip hop was prohibited, man. It was illegal, you know? And, and to see it be celebrated on such a high level, you know what I mean? This, 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 the symphony is playing a piece composed by a black man called graffiti, you know, like, it was just an incredible moment for, uh, 
for everybody, I felt like, you know, to see um, just the progress, you know. Just culturally, man, I automatically connected to it, man. It was just super excited about uh, just coming up with an idea for my first mural. It's connected to the symphony. You know what I mean? It's hip hop. It's a black person that that uh, is the reason why I'm even doing this. And it's like all these variables just had me ready to go. You know? Community is, that is my medium. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, that is the basis of why I create, right? It's, it's not for me. I do it to, like, in vigor, to promote the community, right? To also, like, to, like, uh, give us, give our community a sense of, of that, just that alone. Well, early on, I always had uh, an interest in, like, fashion stuff, you know? Um, so kind of like toying with that early on and then eventually like really being tuned into like streetwear in like the like the you know early mid 2000s you know what I mean especially like yeah just the streetwear thing definitely opened my eyes because that stuff is all art all those graphics and designs and colors and it's art you know um, again right like so many entities and organizations and businesses they say that they support black owned businesses and Black Lives Matter. They put this kind of information on their website and they promote um, all this different energy and positive in our direction. But it's like, but what you doing though? Show me, you feel me? You could put that on your website, but that doesn't mean anything just because you put the sign in your window. Show us that our lives matter. Show us you support BIPOC businesses, you know? Let's partner on something, you feel me? Let's give communities access to things as opposed to creating barriers, you know? And that was a big part of it too. Shout out to, um, again, Spaceworks and Symphonietta, but also Tacoma Creates. They were instrumental in, um, you know, allowing us to have like a, the free ticket option. That was huge, you feel me? That was huge, $25, $50. People don't always have that money to go do stuff. They need that money, you know? It doesn't seem like much, but for some people, it's a lot. You know, that could be their food for the week. Let's make sure we acknowledge that we are an indigenous land as well. So it was a pleasure being a part of this um, project. This is a dream come true. I can't believe we're all here. Everybody looks so beautiful. Um, thank you, everybody, for I love it too. Thank you, everybody, for putting up with me. First of all. Um, I know I'm a lot sometimes, but uh, I care about um, art, I care about community, uh, I care about Tacoma. Um, and I'm just excited to have this opportunity because it shows what we can do if you give us an opportunity, you know? Give us a chance and we can turn it up, you know, we can make it feel special. So um, the piece is called Graffiti. Uh, 